by the end of this video, you will realize the true cost of van life. And I think some of you might actually give up that dream. Ow. Talk about the cost of van life, eh? I'm gonna break down to you what the actual cost of building the van like this and how much it actually costs to living in it weekly. I'm gonna give you kind of like an estimate. The roof itself, $1,600. The electrical system, wires, switches, battery, inverter, all that stuff that has to do with anything electric is about $3,500. The water system is about $400. By the way, at the end, I'm gonna tell you the hidden cost of van life that nobody talks about. And this can literally make or break your van life experience. So stick around. The bench slash bed area is about $700. The kitchen, cabinet, you know, countertop is about $3,500. The ceiling itself is about $250. Flooring is about $150. Insulation, those come down to about $400. The heater got these Chinese ones that work, I heard, just as well, and it's actually really warm. It's so warm that the floor section where my heater is warp. It's like literally warp. So if you do install a heater in your van, make sure that you direct the heat up away from your flooring. Otherwise, it will do some funny business on your flooring. These window costs about $400. Stair itself is $150. Got them used on Amazon. It's totally worth it. As far as like tools, when I first built this van, I didn't have any tools at all. So I had to buy everything. Spent about $1,500 for building materials that I'm just calculated to about $500. And then there are miscellaneous stuff, things that you put inside your drawer to organize shit or whatever. On an overestimate that to about $1,000. With everything added up together, it costs about $14,400. I know that's still a lot of money, but if you look at any van in the market, it's very, very expensive. Honestly, if you want to do something like this, but you want to cut costs even more, I think you can get this thing down to about $10,000. It's the little things that kind of adds up and really, really bring up the cost. All right, now that you know how much it actually costs to build on top of this van, here is what weekly cost of living in a van looks like. And this is my lifestyle. Okay, everybody's gonna be a little bit different. I spend about $20 a week on coffee shop, like $3 coffee, and sit down, work on my computer. Someday I don't go to coffee shops, so it average about $20 a week. Groceries about $70 for me. I love to cook, I love to go out to grocery. It's just so much fun, I don't know what it is. I spend about $100 a week on gas. Damn! Just throwing it out there. It's April 2022. Phoenix gets about 460, 480 a gallon. Water. To refill the water, it's like zero dollars. I do have friends here in Phoenix. I just go to their house and just like, hey, can I put some water? And that's it. But I don't always want to disturb them, so I'll just go to Walmart. And so I'm just gonna throw in five dollars for water weekly. Maintenance throughout the year come out to about twenty dollars a week. That's what I personally saved up every week just so that I can prepare for the maintenance or things break down in the future. Amazon Prime, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. See he entrepreneur, born in 1964, Jeffrey. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stick with being a photographer because I cannot sing at all. But Amazon Prime monthly is $12, so it's $4 a week, right? Gym membership, for me, I do have a rock climbing gym membership, which is about $70. Planet Fitness membership, which is about $20. EOS Gym in Phoenix, that's about $20 as well. <laughs> I don't have Lifetime Fitness, that shit's freaking expensive. All that combined is about $27.50 weekly. Van payment, so this van, I paid quite a bit of money, like $5,000 up front, and my interest rate is about like 1% or something crazy like that, because I got good credits. <laughs> weekly, to break it down, it's about $27, or about $110 a month for my van payment. Phone bill. We all love phone bill, right? Uh, mine's $17.50 a week, so about like $70 a month. I don't know if that, I'm Asian, but I can't do math, okay? And then of course there's insurance, so there's insurance. So our video got cut off, but essentially the weekly cost of living in a van is about $317. 
and that's not a lot because that's like a thousand two hundred dollars a month I'm going to tell you the hidden cost of van life that nobody talks about and that cost is actually Oh damn, that was a huge change in pacing, eh? Well, this is kind of important. Here's one thing that nobody talks about. When you do van life, your life is going to change in a drastic way. And that not everybody will be able to follow you there. You probably have to sacrifice the security and comfort of your own home. You might even have to sacrifice some friendship, jobs, family, but in my case, I have to sacrifice someone that is very special to me. <laughs> Tungi, go get mama. Go get mama. Oh, hit the spot. Hit the spot. <laughs> Hi, Twinkie. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> it was probably the hardest thing I've ever done emotionally. Did we talk about this lifestyle before we go into it? Yes, we did. But people can change. They're allowed to change, and there's nothing you can do about it. So the biggest cause of van life might not be the actual cost itself. It might not be the dollar sign. It might be your relationship, friends, family, connections. But ultimately, it's going to cost you your old way of life. So. Are you willing to make that trade?